The following video will explain to you the implant phase of the sacral neuromodulation therapy. Because the evaluation phase was successful, you may be eligible to receive a permanent sacral neuromodulation or SNM system. There are different versions of the system and you may have already decided which one is right for you. Together with your clinical team, you will discuss the available options. Whichever option you choose, the permanent SNM system consists of two components, one lead and one battery. These are implanted under the skin. You will also be provided with a controller, which looks like a smartphone, and a communicator. You will use these together to manage and adjust your therapy. If you receive a rechargeable system, you will also be provided with a battery recharger, its docking station, and a belt for your recharger. Now, let's turn our attention to how the system is implanted. What can you expect with the implant procedure? During the procedure, you will be lying on your front. Some cushioning will be used to make sure you are comfortable. Your lead, a thin wire, is inserted in your lower back and positioned near the sacral nerves in your pelvic floor. The battery is the part of the system that produces the pulses of stimulation and also goes under the surface of the skin in its own little pocket in the upper buttock, where it will be most comfortable and cosmetically acceptable for you. This minimally invasive procedure may take an hour and can be done under local or general anaesthesia. This will be decided with your clinical team. After the procedure, you may feel a bit sore, but this is quite normal, and you will begin to feel more comfortable in the days that follow. Either on the day of your procedure or a few days afterwards, someone from your clinical team will program your device to reproduce something like what you experienced during the evaluation phase. After your device has been programmed, it will normally run continuously for 24 hours a day. For a period of six weeks, or whatever your clinical team have advised, it is best to avoid bending, stretching or lifting heavy objects. Once at home, gradually increase your physical activity level as your incision heals. On your doctor's advice, you will be able to resume an active lifestyle. Each person is different, but the most important stimulation level is once it reaches a level where it is working for you. Your awareness of the neurostimulator and the sensation it produces will probably gradually diminish. So your stimulation level should be just over or just below the point where you can feel it. Either is fine. Many people don't feel the stimulation on a day-to-day -day basis, but if the therapy is working for you, this is perfectly acceptable. However, there are also people who feel a little bit of stimulation on a day-to-day -day basis. But again, if the therapy is working for you, this is very normal. Turning the stimulation up continuously will not make it work better for you. It will likely become uncomfortable. What you feel from the stimulation can change based on what you are doing and what position your body is in. With the assistance of your controller and your clinical team, you will be able to make changes to how your device is working. This is sometimes necessary to optimise how your symptoms are managed. Your lead is designed to stay in position for the rest of your life, but the battery will at some point need to be replaced. How frequently this is required will depend on what sort of battery you have. The replacement procedure involves a hospital visit and a minor surgical operation. Hopefully, this video has provided you with a helpful guide for the implant phase of the sacral neuromodulation therapy. If you require any further information, please use the contact details shown on the screen or given by the clinical team. Thank you for your attention.